good afternoon to all the doctors who have joined this session i am dr anushri gupta from bjn radar opus team i welcome you in this webinar session on homeopathic management of psoriasis with hersqs module so before starting the session i would like to introduce dr prashant to all of you so dr prashant have an interesting story behind being in homeopath he was a software engineer whom turned to be an homeopath after acknowledging the miracles of homeopathy personally he has been practicing since 18 years in bangalore and is a direct student of dr paul hersqu so it will be a great honor for all of us to learn about the hersqu's module from him now i will hand over all the session to you dr prashant he will be listening to you okay thank you very much uh, so uh, today we are going to be presenting a case of psoriasis which has been analyzed using the cycles and segments module okay so basically what i want to tell uh, all of you as an introduction to cycles of segments is that cycles of segments is a whole new way of analyzing and understanding a case uh, which has actually been first propounded about maybe 30 years ago by dr paul hersqu uh, after he propounded it uh, he wrote a book called stremonium which is an entire book on stremonium my first introduction uh, to uh, cycles and segments was about 9 or 10 years ago well when i was trying to understand how remedies and uh, in general cases would make sense i could not look at cases in isolation and so in pursuit of trying to get a holistic understanding about cases remedies and our materia medica i stumbled upon the book uh, stremonium which i almost got 9 or 10 years back so from that time i was looking at a way in which i could attain attend dr paul hersqu's cycles and segments it's a two year course personally it was not possible until probably two years back when he first launched the online program and he did it in response as a response to covid because not many people were comfort, uh, comfortable attending uh, sessions live you know in person so that's how it came about he launched it for the first time about one and a half years ago and i joined his course which was a two year course uh, he has a two year course for cycles and segments it's a pretty expensive course but i can all tell you that it it has been worth its weight in gold so without i with this introduction to what is cycles and segments as a way of understanding a remedy uh, as a whole process not just in, in not just in isolated parts that is what is cycles and segments further i will as i go through this case share my understanding of cycles and segments also okay so now let us take a look at this case this is a this is a case about 8 or 9 months old when she first came to my clinic so she comes to my clinic and she tells me that she has psoriasis in various parts of her body and she tells me further that she just returned from south africa and her psoriasis has aggravated during her stay there she tells me you know so south africa was very sunny and hot and she could not take the hot climate she has been taking allopathic steroid treatment since the last 3 years and has been managing her symptoms because the psoriasis would flare up extremely and she would uh, have trouble you know managing those symptoms if she did not take some kind of steroid treatment she tells me when i ask her about the inception of psoriasis she tells me that she has had it since birth and it has especially aggravated after marriage lesions started coming out on her face after her marriage so she gives me the following group of symptoms now in uh, the way of analysis of the hersqu module uh, and cycles and segments we try to keep we try to organize symptoms as distinct five or six segments and each segment we keep similar kind of rubrics similar kind of symptoms rubrics representing symptoms in a single segment so uh, she gave me the following group of symptoms which i can call which uh, dr paul hersqu calls as segments all segments contain a bunch of rubrics explaining the very similar idea 
So now, without further ado, the following group of symptoms were the psoriatic patches were very dry and she herself has very, very, very dry skin. She cannot even sweat properly, even on exertion. That's what she tells me. Then she says she cannot tolerate dry, cold weather. Her psoriatic patches get aggravated during such times. She cannot tolerate excess heat as well. And this is recent, you know, earlier she used to be able to tolerate heat. Now, humid heat also she can't tolerate. The flare up of the psoriatic lesions were accompanied by extreme weakness and she could not bear the heat of the sun. She says that these aggravations of psoriatic patches, once she gets it, she, uh, this is a case about a 25 year old lady. She consulted me for uh, psoriasis in various parts of her body. And we were talking about the following groups of symptoms that she gave. You know. Now the following groups of symptoms. Now uh, these groups of symptoms are very important when we take the case using cycles and segments. Group of symptoms are uh, a group of uh, you know uh, in in the basic cycles and uh, segments way of looking at uh, the symptoms. Or we classify symptoms as groups of symptoms. So one segment has a bunch of similar rubrics that all represent the same idea that becomes one segment or a group of symptoms. So here now we see about six group of symptoms that she's having. Number one, she talks about the kind of psoriatic patches. She says they are very dry and she has very dry skin herself. She says she cannot sweat properly even on exertion. Then she talks about her aggravation due to dry cold weather. She says her psoriatic patches get aggravated during such times. She also expresses the opposite polarity as well. She says that she cannot tolerate excess heat as well, even though it is humid heat. She says that for the first time when she went to South America, South Africa, sorry, she could not tolerate the extreme heat of the sun and the psoriatic lesions were accompanied by extreme weakness. Further, she says that these aggravations, when they happen, she becomes very, very slow in her work. She becomes sluggish when she gets into uh, this kind of a situation. She, what she says is she becomes slow and this is how she puts it. She says that normally during her normal day to day life, she's actually very, very quick and busy when she doesn't have these flare ups of the psoriatic lesions. So again, you see there is a polarity developing here. She says that when the psoriatic lesions become very bad, she has to scratch until she bleeds for relief. She shows me various parts of the body which bear the scars after scratching. Now, what we can see is that uh, we are seeing a certain kind of progression of the disease. And this is very important when we look at the cycles and segments way of understanding a particular case. We see that there is a dryness which progresses towards itching and burning, which again becomes so bad that it she has to scratch till it bleeds. After she bleeds, she becomes very, very slow. That is a mental as well as a general symptom. Then she has another polarity that even extreme heat also aggravates her condition. Her normal pace is hurried and hasty. And in this kind of situation, when she's hurried and hasty, she rapidly exhausts her resources and she ends up getting back to the dry segments. So when we can see this, we can see there are two polarities in the case. There is fast and slow. Sometimes in the normal state, she's a very fast person, very hurried person and very abrupt and very, very uh, quick to do and act. In the other, say, other situation, when she gets the psoriatic patches and she's aggravated, she's slow. And we notice another polarity, another bunch of polarity here. She sees heat and cold both aggravate. There are certain peculiarities in the case, which includes the inability to perspire. Now, as you can all see, everything has to fit the case. There is an important history of the mother during pregnancy, wherein her brother had taken a certain amount of money from her husband and he was unwilling to return the money. Now, this led to a lot of, uh, you know, heartburn between the mother and the uh, brother. Uh, because, you know, she felt, you know, very deeply hurt from her brother. There was a kind of an injury that she experienced from her brother and 
to a certain extent from her husband also wherein the husband would accuse you know her even though he would not do it too much because he was aware that she was pregnant every once in a while she would basically mention to her see what your brother did so when i look at these things i could perceive that she felt that she was being injured and i, I took this for later an analysis as the case progressed that she, you know delusion injury injured being from friends you know there are a very few remedies in these delusions but i will not base my prescription on only these delusions i have taken this this is the predominant emotion of her mother during pregnancy and as a result because her psoriatic lesions are there from birth these become important now coming back to that we look at this case it, it is a case of mixed generals we have to treat this is a case which is aggravated from cold as well as the heat the heat has developed only recently and so we must consider the latest change in the general state first so the remedy that we choose after going through the cycles and segments analysis must be a hot remedy now let me show you the repertorization i will also later on uh, as we progress show the uh, radar uh, software as well but for now as we come to the until we come to the second part of the case we will have to make do with the uh, presentation as of now you see i have put it put the whole case as a certain uh, continuum of processes that happen that our patient is circling around and around and around she has a certain hurry and haste she is aggravated due to heat and she is hurried which leads to a certain kind of dryness both emotional as well as physical the dryness causes itching and burning the itching and burning becomes so intense that she has to scratch till she bleeds after which she becomes slow and then when she becomes slow the heat again aggravates so this are these are the six segments and all the six segments are named if you will and the relevant rubrics are placed into each segment and as you can see i have taken multiple rubrics representing the same idea for example let me take the example of scratch till you bleed skin eruptions bleeding scratching after skin eruptions dry bleeding scratching after skin itching scratching aggravate raw must scratch until it is skin itching violent mind anger bursting with anger all of this even mental symptoms come under a similar segment or an idea that is the most important thing to understand while we actually put rubrics in each segment let us say for example dryness you see skin dryness burning yes skin cold aggravates skin dryness perspire inability to these are all representing the dryness segment also the cough dry which is constant almost this was a concomitant that happened during her stay of uh, south africa and she still had not gotten rid of the cough so you see the similar ideas are put into one segment for example you know even for example the skin itching burning you know she would also say the skin would itch and burn i have uh, you know taken you know the skin becoming dullness morning waking on itching burning and this is just a normal state you know in the normal state there was itching and burning you know there would always be some amount of it the dullness could even be put into the dryness segment also that depends now she is a, she the two polarities of slowness i have taken and hurriedness also i have taken as an example look at it slowness mind will weakness of mind answering slowly general sluggishness of the body that is all representing the slowness segment now if i look at heat aggravates you look at it the most predominant rubrics that i have taken generals weakness heat summer of general weakness heat from i have even taken the delusion here mind delusions injury being injured surroundings by his which is basically an example of the heat aggravating and even mind anger touched when so basically injury or anger represents some kind of an inflammation which aggravates her situation so i put all the ideas into one segment it's called heat aggravated similarly for the rest of the segments and i will allow uh, this slide for maybe about 10 seconds 15 seconds while i drink some water for the audience to peruse the different segments you see
this is important okay i hope everybody has looked at it um, now we'll proceed to force an anamnesis of the case what happens when we actually do a repertorization using the cycles and segments module we are given a bunch of remedies which are present in the six fundamental segments of the case there is also one small remedy which is present in six fundamental segments the cycles and segments module throws out remedies which are the major remedies and the small remedies so in this particular case if you look at it generally because the case i'm sorry has multiple uh, modalities it has strong physical generals strong mental generals and certain peculiars also it's a well rounded case it is not limited just to the skin she had a cough also that was developing she has strong physical generals which were there so in this scenario we are looking at more likely a very very important a polycrest remedy if the if the if the particular case is very one sided meaning that there were no symptoms apart from the skin itching uh, there was no for example the slowness and the hurriedness no the symptom just that you know only psoriasis and the skin itches then you are looking at a small remedy but if you have a well rounded case which has symptoms in different parts of the body in the mind in the generals in the different physical uh, parts of the body like the respiratory system in and including the skin then we are looking at a polycrest okay so the final anamnesis and you see the important thing is when we select a certain remedy like lachesis it will tell what are all the rubrics that this remedy covers you can see the list of rubrics on the right hand side you see skin itching scratching aggravate raw must until that is covered sluggishness of the body is covered mind speech hasty is covered then mind hurry everybody must hurry you see that then general's weakness heat summer off is covered and skin dryness burning so all these rubrics are covered by lachesis now we will look at basically an anamnesis a final potential differential field from which we can select the remedies so now you can see we can narrow down to the following six remedies arsenic alumina cocculus lachesis pulsatilla sulfur so now basically there is a certain reason uh, as i already told you when we have a well rounded case according to dr paul hershu we are looking at mostly a major remedy and so we rule out cocculus for more of you more of uh, an understanding of why this is so uh, you know there are some links that are there very in, in my youtube channel which i can put out later uh, but for now we are looking suffice it to say that because there are not uh, there are many many symptoms in different parts of the body the case is strong mentals and uh, and strong physical generals we are looking at a polycrest remedy and when we are looking at a, uh, at a certain remedy which is a constitutional kind of a remedy um, and which is there from uh, for something which is there since birth we have to look at the latest aggravation from the heat and we have to consider all the segments so when we look at it we can rule out alumina arsenic but uh, you know um just one minute let me just look at it we have to look at only those remedies which are basically very uh, chilly remedies so basically alumina is ruled out uh, you you rule out to some extent and the only remedies that come up for consideration arsenic is ruled out because it is chilly alumina is ruled out again a chilly remedy cocculus you can consider is a chilly remedy then three remedies can come up for consideration which is lachesis pulsatilla and sulfur so now lachesis pulsatilla and sulfur uh, that's a typo you know lachesis pulsatilla and, and sulfur are the three remedies that we have to look now all of them if you look at it lachesis pulsatilla and sulfur have a certain aggravation from uh, from the sun okay but among them the extreme cocculus has an additional agrimesh uh, has an ailments from of grief or night watching which is not shared by the other by the case in question 
So we are looking at only sulfur and lecithin as the predominant remedies in this case. Out of some, out of sulfur and lecithin, we have to look at a remedy which is extremely aggravated by summer. And even though we can consider sulfur as a backup remedy, then we consider the delusion also that of being injured by his or her friends. We will look at lecithin as a predominant first remedy to be given. Now, what we do, we give lecithin one m in infrequent doses over a period of three to four months. Now, it is important to understand why infrequent doses and why not frequent doses. Now, here let me briefly tell that this this psoriasis has developed over a period of time. It has come from birth, and so when you have when you have a situation which has developed slowly from birth, which has developed due to a certain delusion also, which we see lachesis covers the delusion. We have to give uh, you know infrequent and small doses and high potencies. Even 10m is fine, but we have to go infrequent doses. An infrequent repetition. Why? Because also, if you can understand that the patient has had this issue for a long, long time, and when some issue is there from a long, long time, you cannot wish it away by giving it frequently. The time that it has taken for the malady to develop, and the time that it takes to for it to go, should be somewhat proportional to each other. If, for example, the psoriasis had come for the first time after going to South Africa, then you would not hesitate to repeat even 200 or 1 m daily because it was an acute case. It had not developed for over a period of time. In this case, clearly, it is a certain deep. It is deeply ingrained in the constitution, and we cannot expect that it would go away free with within a week or 10 days. So we do infrequent repetition. I hope everybody understands the logic of uh, what I'm telling. OK, so what happened after a month? She said the heat in the body had, you know, substantially reduced. So for one month, I have not repeated it. Then there was a slow uh, reoccurrence. Then I again gave lachesis one name. So roughly I gave lachesis one name over a period of four months. I would have probably given four to five doses. Now she held very well. She said that the heat in her body and psoriatic lesions were almost 70 to 80 percent better. Now, here comes the interesting point and why this is a chronic case and how chronic case handling is different from acute case handling. She says she went to a trip to the Andamans and to Sri Lanka. First, she went with her mother and brother to Andaman Nicobar Islands. She did scuba diving. She enjoyed herself. She did everything. Nothing happened. The psoriatic lesions did not flare up. Then she says she went to South, uh, Sri Lanka with her husband. And in Sri Lanka also, the first three or four days, she was perfectly fine. No flare up of psoriatic lesions and, you know, perfectly fine. On the fourth day, the weather in Sri Lanka, you know, changed. The humidity became less. The cold increased. You see, this is, uh, you know, in India, we are noticing this uh, a transition to uh, uh, Sankranti, the hot. In uh, Sri Lanka, it happens a little bit earlier because it is much more closer to the tropical region. So when, you know, the this kind of transition happened that she suddenly became cold, the weather became cold and uh, uh, to some extent dry, that is when she says her psoriasis flared up. Okay. When it flared up, then she says she picked up a horrible dry cough along with the psoriasis. You see, this is what she says happened to her. Now you see there is a clear shift in the physical generals. She has developed now a tolerance towards heat, but is highly aggravated in cold, dry weather. She says that when she came to Bangalore and cough and skin, even though she did some home remedies, it remained the same, you know, because she could not meet me. The weather in Bangalore was similar to that of Sri Lanka at that time, at the time when uh, she left Sri Lanka, cold and dry. And so she developed the dry cough, her skin became dry and her psoriasis again aggravated. Now, what are, what are the other things that happened when I took her case again in my clinic? She said that her hastiness has to some extent reduced, but the more important thing that has actually changed in her case is that the itching, even though it has come in Sri Lanka, 
it has not become so bad she no longer has to scratch the lesions until they bleed they are no longer violent she says however that the itching was aggravated during the night and she had trouble falling asleep so now when you look at this there is no remarkable change in the rest of the case so i repeaterize the case again i removed the segment of heat aggravation and included a segment of warm humid weather amelioration because she felt better when the weather was warm and warm and humid i checked off those rubrics in the case that were no longer applicable and checked on a few that were applicable so the new cycles and segments analysis comes about like this you see the dryness is there there is a hurry there is a dryness the skin itches she still scratches but may not be till she bleeds and then she becomes slow but here is a new new segment the warm wet weather ameliorates and so now you see in the new set of symptoms i have added this on the bottom right corner a new segment general warm air ameliorates general paid rheumatic warm wet air ameliorates because she said she had some pain in her legs which was better when the weather was warm and humid she says anything warm she feels better even taking warm drinks so warm was a very important segment okay then the hurry the important thing was she was no longer feeling like you know to scratch until the you know the uh, lesions bled she felt the scratching but the itching was no longer violent so now let me share this uh, the radar screen so that i can show switching quickly to the radar screen now you can see this i can check check in and check out these symptoms so these symptoms i have checked out i have added this huge this new segment warm wet weather ameliorate hurry haste that is still there though she has become better and now what i do is i select all the segments for analysis this is what and then i do it asks me whether i describe my patient i get these new remedies for consideration and you can see that among the new remedies for considerations again you can see lachesis but you see in lachesis this is what are all the rubrics that are covered but what is important here is she is aggravated by cold wet weather and if you look at lachesis that is not so much seen here you see in this particular thing whereas in alumina if you can see she actually feels for example the dryness you can actually see here skin eruptions dry that becomes prominent and the warm air amelioration is very very prominent in alumina if you look at it whereas in lachesis in segment 4 you hardly see warm amelioration just one rubric is there but not much and that too in the last degree you see alumina and lachesis is the the total difference here so many rubrics warm air ameliorate of course because alumina is a chilly remedy and so more rubrics you will see here so even though you can see that lachesis is still covering the case in my mind's eye you could see that this case had shifted from a point of needing a hot remedy to a case wherein she needed a cold remedy and you see the dry constant almost alumina covers lachesis in the skin symptoms even though it is there it doesn't cover everything see the dryness inability to perspire lachesis also covers dryness burning is there but if you look at alumina here how many drynesses how many more rubrics alumina covers which also has dryness as a as a symptom cough is dry there is dryness and burning but there is perspiration inability to in the second or third degree so this is how we look at the case and now new anamnesis we see the following remedies come up for consideration and we come up with these remedies so now as i can see as you can see now the her case definitely got aggravated uh, after coming to a cold and dry climate and we saw that because when she went from andaman and nicobar islands which was a hot humid climate to the first three days in sri lanka again a hot humid climate she did not get aggravated she did, she did not develop any new symptoms so 
based on that we come up that you know let's just say sulfur and carbovage are ruled out because we don't are ruled out from the above due to their thermal antagonism meaning that they are all hot remedies so we look at these remaining remedies and we look at arsenic we can rule out quite a lot of these remedies she is not a dull laid back person she is not a calcarea definitely arsenic album she is not very fastidious so we can rule out arsenic album the mentors alone serves to rule out quite a lot of things causticum we can keep for consideration dalcamera ailments from change in weather uh, this is the main keynote of dalcamera and yes you can to a certain extent take that but if you look at it if dalcamera was an important remedy there was a change of remedy uh, weather from andaman to as well as the sri lanka and dalcamera may have acted as soon as she came up uh, to sri lanka but it didn't she didn't develop any cold because there was a change of weather lycopodium usually a uh, naxomica usually have some digestive complaint or uh, some kind of urinary complaint in lycopodium naxomica typically has digestion complaints and a uh, certain amount of if you can say a very very uh, ambitious remedy she is not a too ambitious person also so if you look at it we finally rule out all the other remedies we come to alumina arsenic album dalcamera and lycopodium you can also look at naxomica also but uh, you know this case we have seen an impact on the respiratory tract a cough you know naxomica is more towards digestive complaints so generally when we look we, we we look at what is it affecting the skin is affected the uh, respiratory area is affected so we say our patient is not fastidious so it rules out arsenic album dalcamera you can consider uh, maybe as a second or third remedy if uh, our main remedy that we choose does not act but dalcamera is usually chosen for acute complaint and it is usually accompanied by some kind of difficulty breathing in our case there was a dry cough and alumina is more likely so you see cough dry constant almost this was a concomitant and a very important concomitant at that because it was accompanying her skin complaints so you see alumina and arsenic become important so we can consider alumina and arsenic but arsenic gets ruled out because she is absolutely not fastidious she is a person who doesn't pay attention to detail she has never kept an appointment while coming to the clinic she is always late on time and she is not very particular about many many things so she that definitely rules out arsenic so what is the confirmatory for alumina when i asked her you know we all know about the confusion of alumina so as a confirmatory i asked her do you have any confusion while you shop or while you do something in your day to day life she says definitely i have a confusion while deciding on something in my daily life i usually ask her ask my husband and uh, you know i have difficulty choosing clothes when somebody clothes is there then i definitely ask them you know which one would be better for me etc this confusion is pretty is very prominent in her so when we look at her i took the rubric mind confusion of mind spoken when to and this is something which you will observe also when you talk to a person she doesn't you know they speak hesitatingly you know they are not very open very uh, they have some doubt and then they answer as if they are confused about what to answer this kind of thing when you see you can the, even the expression of the person's face and the time he takes to answer your question and the confusion which is writ large on his face directly speaks to you about alumina so we give alumina 1m single dose and allow it to act for at least preferably even a week because alumina is slow to act and we should not change it quickly alumina is like silicia they are very they are close to each other in the periodic table so do not change the remedy quite often so after 6 days i call the patient up and she says she is much much better in her symptoms okay so if she is not better you know you can repeat it after maybe 4 5 days but to repeating it too frequently is beyond the point you repeat it maybe once in a week because uh, 
you know, maybe the remedy needs time to act. Maybe the potency needs to change. But I'm just saying in her case, she repeated an amelioration. But alumina generally takes some time to act. Generally, a double repetition would make it act fully. Beyond that, hold back and repeat maybe once in a week, not more than that. Now, finally, uh, uh, we look, this is how we have to handle a chronic case. And the case keeps on shifting as the mental generals, the physical generals, the keynotes keep on getting shifted. This is what Dr. Paul Haskew tells us. Whenever you contemplate changing an MED, look at three things, whether the physical generals have shifted, whether the mental generals have shifted, whether the important symptoms in the case have shifted. Then if the three of them or the majority of them, two or three of them have actually shifted and then you are sure of it, then you know that there's a shift in remedy. And generally you will find that remedy, even in this case, as one of the remedies, even though you may not change your repertorization also. See, in this case, I actually changed the repertorization. But if you look back, you know, one of the, uh, even the first repertorization through cycles and segments revealed alumina. So when you do it right, you will always see the second or third remedy also in the same cycle in the list of remedies. So that is important. Now, finally, I want to talk briefly about the map of hierarchy, even though this is not exactly part of the cycles and seg it is uh, it is part of the cycles and segments in a chronic case, but it is not part of how you know you do the repertorization using cycles and segments. What is important and what Dr. Paul Herskew says is that that remedies come about in phases. In phase one, phase one group of remedies, they are mostly polypress and they have a certain level of aggravation. They are not extremely intense remedies, meaning the desperation in the, in the, in the uh, patients who need phase one remedies is not so much. Phase two remedies are the no sorts and some remedies which have a characteristics of the no-source, like natrum self and calceria phos. Natrum self can be thought of as a combination of natrum ure, sulfur, and medorinum. He says also calceria phos can be uh, thought of as a combination of calceria carb, phosphorus, and tuberculinum. These kind of remedies have a much more intense state, are much more desperate. Then phase three are the transition group of remedies, which are quite desperate. And phase four are extremely intense remedies where the pathology is very, very intense. And in these remedies, you see lechesis, naja, crotalus, tarantula, these kind of highly intense remedies where the pathology is intense. So as a person improves, this is what Paul Herskew says, his pathology goes from needing remedies that belong to phase four or phase three towards needing phase two or phase one. Okay. In our case, I wanted to share this because there was an intermediate uh, stage that also happened here. While this case initially required lechesis, you know, there was a close uh, tie between lechesis and naja because of the injury ailments from during pregnancy, but lechesis worked out well for her. I think once this lechesis state went off, she actually went briefly before her transition uh, to alumina. I had given her carcinosin about 15, about maybe a month back when she had an exacerbation of her psoriasis. And she, she why carcinosin at that time? I would talk probably that would be a subject of a different lecture. But one thing I can clearly say that carcinosin at that time, because some of the physical generals had shifted. Her, there was a keynote that shifted. She was having difficulty going to sleep and she had become extremely worried about her mother. So based on that, carcinosin had been given. You see, the patient has shifted from phase four to phase two. And now this remedy that I have given her right now is alumina, which has acted very well. So we know that the patient is going on his road to health or healing when he gradually goes from requiring remedies which are very intense, which are logically put in phase four, 
then he goes through phase two and then he comes to phase one and even the physical complaint would, would have become less intense and this as i showed you in the repertorization it was less intense she did not scratch until she ble bleeds and the last slide as uh, you know this is just me verbalizing what i just said according to the map of hierarchy a person in his journey towards healing moves from a more intense to a less intense state and requires remedies which are less intense i hope uh, it was a good learning session yes sir it was a great lecture i think uh, 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 it looks like quite a lot of people are interested in uh, cycles and segments and the hershey module right yes sir uh, so i think it it will be good to uh, you know uh, promote it because promotion of a good thing is always good <laughs> because uh, not many people are using the hershey module and uh, it is a great aid in our practice i can vouch for that Okay. you know rather than the routine flat repertorization that we are used to the cycles in segments perspective provides a whole new dimension of looking at you know the whole remedies especially you know you you cannot you understand where different symptoms fall through you know it is almost like the process of life you know bolte hai na jo you know what we see is a cycle of life you know cycle yes. of life is pretty much evident in this particular hershey module yes 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 sir so there is a lot of appreciation about the lecture dr prashant and i would say that it was a great lecture it was a great help for everybody amongst us hmm. so we will try to arrange another sessions also in near future hmm. so uh, you, about the future lecture uh, we i can probably look at how to deal with acutes this was a chronic case and uh, the hershey module you can very quickly come to remedies for the acute case also so that is something that we can arrange for later on yes yeah. yes sure surely we can arrange for an uh, acute session also mm -hmm. so i think we should wind up the session now yes okay so well, thank you dr prashant for such a great lecture and thank you all the viewers for attending this uh, session and being a part of it Thank you and have a great day ahead have a great day dr kushan